as you can see, I'm still in Thailand. Um, I enjoyed it so much, so I stayed longer and said, screw it, Munich, what do I care about Munich? So I'm still in Thailand, or am I? Of course I'm back. And what you see here is a Thai pagoda that can be found in the West Park of Munich. In the description you'll find all addresses of the places I will show you here. Here are 7 strange Instagrammable places in Munich. If you'd like to prank your friends at home by telling them that you didn't go to Munich but to Asia, the West Park is the place. There's not only the Thai pagoda but also a Chinese garden. However, the Chinese garden is closed in the winter. Do you prefer Nepal? There's also a wonderful hand-carved Nepalese pagoda. And there's a Japanese garden as well gifted by Munich's partner city Sapporo. This place in West Park is wonderful to enjoy the peace and quiet on a Sunday morning. In the very west of the Maxvorstadt you can find a strange thing. A Park Mini Cooper? What's so special about that, you might say? Well, this Mini Cooper parks upside down. It used to say Frauenparkplatz, women's car park above the Mini. This probably led to many misunderstandings. I always understood it to mean that women can even park overhead. But perhaps it was interpreted by others as misogynistic. And if you're hungry, there's a well-known Italian restaurant behind the Mini Cooper. I have never eaten there, but I heard good things, so it's a recommendation, but not my recommendation, just to be clear. And while we're on the subject of vehicles that are not where they actually belong, here's the Alte Utting, a ship that used to sail on Lake Amazee, but now it's on a bridge in Munich. Yes, a ship on a bridge. And I was here in Sendling in the morning, but in the evening it's a pub with food where you can enjoy drinks and food on deck of the Alte Utting. And if you drink enough beer, it even feels like heavy seas. That's what I call a very high tech. And here's the Alte Peter, St. Peter's Church. Just a regular church, but with an interesting twist. On the north side, next to one of the windows, you can find that. Do you see it? It's a cannonball. And the story goes like that. During the coalition wars 1796, the Austrians bombarded Munich. During Holy Mass, a cannonball smashed through the window and landed on the altar. The congregation fled the church in panic. Only the priest kept his cool and ended the Mass. To commemorate this event, the ball was walled in at the window. Under the Maximilianstraße you will find a space that is constantly changing. The Maximilians Forum. In the 1960s the aim was to make the city more car friendly and push people underground with the pedestrian underpass. By the time this was recognized as a traffic policy mistake, the underpass had already been built and nobody wanted to use it. So the underpass was used as a space for art and today you can see constantly changing exhibitions there. And the whole thing is free of charge. When I was there you could see those human tardigrades. Well, it's art. If you come to Munich, a lot of things will look alien to you. But nothing as alien as this thing. This flying saucer can be found in front of the Pinakothek der Moderne. And it doesn't come from outer space, but from Finland. The Finnish architect Matti Suronen designed this Futuro house as a ski lodge in the 1960s. Now you can shoot your own science fiction movies here.
And the last quirky place I'd like to show you is this bumpy basketball court in Mosach. You can even enter the basketball court and play on it. At least you can try. It is, of course, another work of art with the name Basketball Court 3D. It was built in 2007 by the artist collective Inges ID. I hope you enjoyed those quirky places and you will find all the information and addresses of the locations in the description. And if you're interested in a guided tour through Munich, here's my email address. See you in the next video.